Uh, did anyone see that? <laughs> no, I almost died for it. <laughs> you know what? I'll go for HP here. Um, well, that is insane. Yep, the, the glitch worked. So there was a glitch in the game, or there is a glitch in the game, that you can keep a stage going forever without the enemy scaling up. But I do believe that the scaling that I had on them already persists. But um, the stage will just continue infinitely. And I actually wanted to do this with a lot of beam weapons because... Well, we can have a ton of beams, you know, so <laughs> guess what I'll do now. I'll pretty much spend my time getting the weapons to a point where they can kill everything all the time. We'll farm up a huge amount of experience and then just see what kind of upgrades we'll get, you know, because hopefully there'll be some additional beams in there. I even have bonus luck, so far only five, but whenever I get it, I'll get more of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just mind blown. This is the very first time it worked out, and it actually did work out on the very first stage, which is ridiculous. So one of the best things is that I actually have the Nitra upgrade, but it doesn't really matter. I mined, like, all the Nitra on this stage, though I can still mine all the rocks. Initially, my plan was that I want to have stuff that gets mined, like, you know, out of rocks, you get bonus material for it, because I could have now just mined all the rocks and got everything. But I, I'm happy. I'll try this again on every single stage in this run. Some people have said it only works once, which, you know, could be the case. But it, I think it's just ridiculously hard to do this because I've tried this now for quite some time. And this is the very first time it worked out. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Well, let, let, let's go for full beams, okay? Maybe another time, but let's go for full beams. I gotta say, this glitch is way harder than any of the... Well, there was only one other glitch, right? But yeah, this one is way harder to do. And I've also noticed the game has gotten a lot tougher. Or maybe just, like, the weapons that are supposedly buffed, they actually got nerfed like crazy. Because I had difficulties even just winning. But do you see the amount of enemies that we have there? Yep, that's quite a lot. And our natural healing will just recover my HP. I have to be careful for quite some time. Probably until the weapons are all level 12, level 18. Uh, and maybe until I finally get a magnet. You know what, that could actually be the, the, like the, the only way to get <laughs> one magnet per level. <laughs> by just having them last infinitely. <laughs> right. Didn't even consider that. Oh my god, look at this experience. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I need that. I need that. I want to... So my goal is, I want to have as many beams as possible, and I want to have giga-long beams. It's not even about efficiency, it's not even, even about damage, like what makes the most sense. I just want to see a ginormous amount of beams and super long beams. Just before someone says, oh, Dex used to get way more excited, and now he's like, he, he doesn't really care. He's like, huh. it, it, it's close to midnight, okay? We all said this in the past, when it's this late, and I really have to hold back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't change it, you know? It's like, it is what it is. Um, do we want to have reload speed or lifetime on this one? To be honest, the way I view it is, the more reload speed you have on this, the less lifetime you need, because, well, reload speed is just the time where it's not there. So let's just go for lifetime, because I will just go for reload speed on all of these, you know, general upgrades, maybe. Usually I go for the other one, but let's try this one out if this works. So, yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. Don't you think it's insane that I'm now level 35 and I haven't seen a single magnet so far? It's like, guys, <laughs> where are the magnets? <laughs> like, what is this? For real? Am I, not, am I not supposed to have a magnet at one point? I'm just really excited and happy right now that this is like the very first time this has worked out. To be honest, there's not a lot to explain because it's pretty much what you saw. You walk up until this degree, until the half of the ramp, though apparently that doesn't matter. Like many people do it at the bottom and the videos I've seen also did it at the bottom. You can do it wherever pretty much, but maybe... Oh, that is perfect. Maybe there are spots where it's more likely to work out, and then you just wiggle left and right like crazy. And as you have seen, the moment it's happened, here, take a look at this, I wasn't able to really direct my character, which was weird. That was the reason why I almost died. Like, I was so surprised what's going on because I gave inputs and the character didn't react. But, like, luckily I survived. Like, just imagine I would have died there. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Now oh, we have infinite level ups. We don't need that. We'll just go for upgrades here. Yeah. But yeah, there's not more to it, which is kind of frustrating, because as I said, I've tried this out a lot and I pretty much did the same stuff there and it hasn't worked, so I'm like... Okay, what has changed, you know? Like, what's different? I, I don't get it. Uh, let's go for damage on this one. We can afford to just go for the best upgrades now, because we are not in a time rush at all. 
like I, I can just take whatever I want. Why does this feel like the enemies are overwhelming me? Or is this just this one range guy over there? I guess I just want to stand behind a wall. Uh, 10% bonus damage. I could also roll once. Let's do that. Reload speed on you or damage on you. Uh, I think the damage is still better. Like, you know, the frost gun is kind of nice, but it's just more support. It's not really our main weapon. Crit damage. I have 47% crit chance with our Nitra. So let's bump this up. Uh, let's just take this a bit higher. Oh. <laughs> the very first legendary. Welcome to the team. At least I, I don't remember one. Something about this tire. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Addition oh my god, yes, plus two beams. Look at this quadra beam now. Oh, that is perfection. And exactly the one that got reload speed. Doesn't this look amazing? All the beams that we have. Well, this weird one there. Do you think this one can get additional beams? Because it doesn't get it on level ups, right? So I do wonder... Can it actually get those? By the way, guys, feel free to let me know what you think about the latest update with the with the status changes. I have a feeling it nerfed a lot of the builds that existed, because they relied on just having a status weapon in there, like a gun, and that would apply a debuff to the enemies, like electrical, like acid, you know, and the only purpose was to apply that to the enemies, so they take more damage or have a higher chance to be critted, but now that they have doubled the tick rate, they only last half as long, which made a lot of the builds that I used to run completely useless. And I've noticed also in this run, it was really difficult to even get through the first stage. I, I honestly, I don't think I could have won this. So yeah, I don't know what to, what to think about this entire thing. You know what's the most surprising part for me? I am so giga strong right now, and I still have to run away from enemies, and I'm still not full HP. Because these enemies take me down. Because they chase me away. Well, I say that and we just destroy everything now. <laughs> you know, it's the flyers. They are the main problem. Because I can't just stay there. I have to move away. Uh, Maybe? Maybe no? Let me just take care of him. How is this possible? I'm level 50. You would assume that I could easily melt them and deal with them. But nope. Nope. Not easy at all. Oh, <laughs> yes, please. Um, well, that was kind of insane. There's this huge army walking in. Now they're getting cooked and properly cooked. I pretty much want the enemies. Well, it uh, doesn't matter where they're coming from. We have so many beams, they cover everything. Uh, yeah, this is working out, and there we go. Level 18 plus three beams. This means everything is always poisoned. <sighs> yeah, this is this is how you win in this game. This is how it's done. So, being level 55, let's check out what the reload speed is. 1.18 seconds. You know what? I think that was a fair bet. Why is her damage decreased? What? Why is it 108 in red? That doesn't make any sense. Huh, weird. Yeah, um, I think it was a fair bet to go on the like on the reload speed at least here. Okay, now the elites are also kind of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the fire and the cryo one would just turn faster. This feels like it's the biggest flaw of this weapon. It's so slow that most of the time you don't end up hitting anything. And honestly speaking, I think lifetime is kind of useless, because if the reload time is short enough, if it's like half a second, then it's gone for half a second and back. Like it doesn't matter if the lifetime is 100 seconds or just 2 seconds, because you pretty much have it always around. Yeah. That's a great meme. That's just a great meme. <laughs> Purple lifetime. Right after I said it's useless. This game needs some banishes. Oh, this would be good. Maybe also some rerolls or something like that. You know, when you get overclocked that you can spend gold. Even if it's just 25 gold on overclocks, let people do that. I think that's totally fair. Because the alternative is if you want to go for a particular thing, then you just have to restart the run. And that's, you know, very tilting, frustrating, toxic. I don't like that. You don't even have to unlock it for new players. You know, if you want them to play the mechanic you implemented, don't give it to them. If someone has beat all the stages on Hazard 5, they just get a relic, and with that, they can reroll overclocks. It's that simple, okay? If you want to keep it, then it's that simple. Just implement that. Okay, that's actually a difficult one. 
I think we'll go for this one because I would like it to less initial damage but increase increase rotation speed. Wait, these are horrible. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. I guess we'll do the stacking damage. Because we have a freeze as well. So, um, yeah, that sounds good. I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for real. Stop that. I don't want that anymore. I took so much luck. I mean, it's, it's not that much. I have plus 10 luck, okay? But I took every single luck that I found. And I still only get garbage offered. Please, give me additional beams. We only have plus one additional beam. I'm level 60. <gasps> oh, that's good. Oh, that's very late. But, um, yeah, I think I think this will help for this run. This, this will help quite a lot. Well, are you interested in a bit of experience? Let's go. <laughs> I wanted to accumulate, like, a ginormous amount of experience. But they are always these annoying shooters. <laughs> they just don't stop spawning and attacking me. So, level 65 is when this started. Oh, wow. Oh, there's like no experience in here. Look at this. Oh, okay. We may have reached a point where we barely level up anymore. Because I waited for... Oh, my God. Eee. <sighs> this will hurt my soul. But I told you, my goal is a lot of beams and a lot of range. So we sadly can't go for that. Honestly, looking at how fast the experience is going up with these few kills, I feel like the game may have a limitation on how much experience can be on the floor. So I just wasted a long time waiting there for nothing. Great. Okay, so I'm barely leveling up anymore. We'll quickly kill all of these enemies. As you can see, I've grown a lot in strength, but sadly not in visual strength. You know, there are not that many more beams around. In fact, I, I don't think I've gotten a single beam, okay? <laughs> you can't change it, you know? Sometimes you get really lucky, other times you don't. But I would say we'll just move on. Maybe some of the future stages have more enemies that we can use, though this will all depend on whether or not I can trigger this glitch again. Like some people have said you can't do it again, like a second time. Others have said you can do it even five times, it just really depends on the timing. So I would say, let's move on and let's see if we can do it again. Oh, do I take that? I would reduce my crit rate. Uh, not even by that much, but 12 per- I'll take it. So my goal was, I wanted to get all the weapons to 18. Turns out, it's a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Okay, I was a little bit careless as well. I just took like literally the best upgrades. But I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get 18 easily. You know, not a big deal. But let's take a look at how easy it is to play the stage when you have these powerful weapons. And you know what, if I lose, I call BS, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine being level 73, and you would still struggle. You would imagine that I steamroll these enemies. Uh, does it even make sense to grind any more experience? I, I honestly don't really think so. How are you even getting close? How is this a thing? That doesn't make any sense. This dude should get shredded. <laughs> huh. I understand now why some people complain like about the, the scaling of the character. I mean, it, it makes it difficult, you know, but at the same time, I literally glitched out the game, farmed for like 30 minutes there, and I still can't easily deal with the enemies, as in just go AFK, you know? Well, maybe we get a good upgrade. Uh, what do I want to have? Gold for damage would be the most insane one, because I can just easily farm up all the gold now. Uh, okay, I guess we'll go for HP. Better than nothing. Do we still get anything out of this? Not really. It's like, I'm not even one level up. I mean, to be fair, that was quite a lot for level 73. We got a lot out of that. <laughs> so because I don't know whether I will trigger the glitch or not, I'm trying to get all of the Nitro on the stage, which has been a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, this dude is about to die. Okay, never mind. There's a magnet up there. Please put the drop... Hmm... Oh, this is actually far away. Okay... Um... Guys, I, I think I have bad news. Don't tell me I was too greedy. Please don't tell me I was too greedy. I'll have to run through all of the enemies here. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Well, the nice thing is, we can already clear all the enemies. Um, so you're supposed to only run up in the last two seconds. So let's give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, but... 
Well, you know what, I can just try on the next one. So, I think I will use... I, I don't even level up enough that this would be worth it to buy. Honestly, I think this game needs a little bit of a rework. In regards to its, like, how much you level up, um, because I, I don't think it's enough. If I can farm for, like, half an hour experience and I only reach level 74, I mean, everyone knows how it is in a normal game, right? I just don't think you get enough out of that, like enough power level. If you do everything right, you are not strong enough at the end. Maybe the weapons also just need more balancing and that's the main problem, but I don't think it's enough. If I can farm straight up for 25 minutes and nuke all the enemies, I would expect that I end up on level, I don't know, 150 or something like that. This doesn't do anything, this is horrible, gain experience, okay, sure. <laughs> do I have any fire rate on these? Nope, not a single one. I think this would actually be a good time to talk about some of the, the flaws that the game has. How am I dying? <laughs> How am I still losing? <laughs> Look at my HP. Wait, how is that possible? Oh, it's bullshit. I'm sorry, but this is BS. That is impossible. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, these weapons suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just abysmal. So, editing decks is quickly taking over here because I want to go on a short rant and while I honestly didn't try hard, you know, to win, I also didn't expect that I would need to. And I was genuinely surprised that I ended up dying because I spent 25 minutes farming for experience, got all of the experience and I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel stronger compared to any of the other runs that I did, which is a little bit of a ridiculous thing. And it kind of reflects what many people in my comment section have said, that even though they enjoy the game, it's just way too imbalanced, you know? You don't really grow in power as much as the enemies do, except when you have certain weapons. And with the other weapons, it just doesn't work at all. You need the right artifacts, you need the right overclocks, you need the right random levels, you know, legendaries. And if you don't get them, then you will just not win. So yeah, I think this has to be overall balanced in regards to the enemies, but also the character growth. Why is it so limited? Why does it take so long to level up? Like, it doesn't need to be that hard. You don't need to make it a huge challenge to have fun in a game. Like, I'm not saying the game shouldn't be challenging, but if people start feeling tortured or frustrated, then they don't want to continue playing. And once they are done, if they even play that long, they'll just move on because there's no reason to try out other builds if most of them fail unless you go for a very particular one. So I would say balance out the enemies a bit, balance the character growth that they can just grow more, like especially that you need a magnet to get all of the experience to have a reasonable level, but like you get maybe one or two magnets for an entire run on average is a little bit ridiculous. And then it's also too much RNG with the overclocks, with the artifacts, with the level ups. There has to be a better system in play that allows you to make this a bit more reliable because I don't want to go for a gimmick run as well and then the final weapon has a wrong overclock and I have to restart a 20 minute run, which was meant to be a fun run. So I really hope that the developers address that and implement certain changes that overall allows the player to calm down a bit more and not feel like they constantly have fire under their buttocks, okay? So yeah, I hope you still enjoyed that and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.